This is a basic demo for Smarty Pants Client Document Manager Premium. Uh, I'm just going to go over a few features in the new version. So we're going to start off by logging in as a subscriber. This is your basic thumbnail mode which is available in the premium version. Click Add File and for this demo I'm going to allow the system to retain the name of the files. Select a few files here. Check out this box so it uses the original file name and we'll create a new project for these files. And this is using the premium multi-uploader which shows progress and completed files. Click upload and our files are being sent to the server and the uploads complete. So now that our files have uploaded let's check them out and there they are, our three files and you can just download the files, add revisions, comments, view a download log. Um, you can also get a Google short link which is just an easy way to send a file to a friend. And now let's go back and try our Dropbox add-on. This is a new add-on that we've created for the premium version. Uh, this will basically allow you to import any files from Dropbox. Once installed, you can click the Dropbox link, uh, browse the for any files that you want to import. And you can select as many files as you want. And with these files, I'm going to create a new project and give it a new name. Automatically selects my project. And the color of shirt is just uh, part of the form manager that allows you to add uh, any additional fields that you require for your files. And now it's importing the files. Let me just fast forward a minute. And now that our import is complete, you can go to the folder and you can see all your files there. Uh, you could also choose each file name yourself, but I just chose to allow the program to automatically choose the file name for me. Now I'm going to log in as an admin to show you the multiple sub-project add-on that we have just released. This basically allows you to have unlimited subdirectories for each project. I'm just logging in as the admin here and going back to the uploader. And now I have a different set of files because I'm logged in under an admin. Uh, and you can see the drop down folder has uh, nested uh, projects. And we can add to that nest by choosing a project parent. Now let's give our file a name. Choose a file. Just put in the sample test data here and then click upload. Now let's locate our file. It was in the pictures, then subfolder, and then test, and there is our file. And let's go back to the root directory. And this is just our file list. Now let's go over to the admin panel. This is the basic file list view. Um, we have a menu up here with all our different settings. Uh, there's a file uploader and instructions. The groups feature allows you to add multiple users to a group so you can all share the same file system. The forms feature allows you to add custom fields for each file. Uh, you can get there by going to forms in the control panel. And I'm going to modify a field that we already have here which is color of shirt and I'm going to change that from a text box to a select box and you can give 
the select box default options. Uh, you can add unlimited form fields as well. Categories allow you to add a category to a file, which could be used for sorting. And we also have a uploader. The admin can choose to upload files to any user. Um, you can see Bob's files are the same as admin's files because we add them to the same group. And if you log in under Bob and go to the uploader, you can see all the files there. And if you removed Bob from that group, then he would no longer see those files. He also has access to all his projects. And the only thing that Bob can't do is delete another person's files unless you give him that ability, which is a setting in the group manager. There's also a short code that will allow you to display all your public files. Uh, this will actually display all the files on your site in their respective folders. So obviously this wouldn't be used in a secure scenario. And that about wraps everything up. There are other features, small features that you would use in certain, certain situations. Uh, a lot of settings available. Um, and basically we can modify this to fit your need. So feel free to call us, email us if you have any questions. And you can reach us at smartypantsplugins.com.